yo, 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 what's up? We back for another week. Spoken Minds, I got two special guests with me. Yes, I got sir. my boy, nephew, Q. Yes, sir. <laughs> and I got my dog, D-Money, Derek Stevenson. Hey, look, check this out, right? I wasn't even supposed to be here today. I was supposed to be going <laughs> on a uh, birthday dinner with my father-in-law. But you know what? I was like, man, hell with the birthday <laughs> dinner. I'm coming to do spoken <laughs> Coming to the show. <laughs> well, I know y'all see me all geared up and ready to roll. They know what it Tonight is. is the night. They know what it is. The NFL kickoff begins. They know what it is. The defending champs are back at it. Tampa Bay. That's what we do, yo. Tampa Bay. Who's your squad, Dirk? You got a squad? Nah, I ain't got a squad, but this year, I'm on y'all's team. <laughs> he he bandwagoning with us. Go ahead, man. You can bandwagon with us, man. I got the red shirt. I'm out. I'm out. He's you on, can bandwagon with us. He's yeah. with us. Well, tonight's game, Cowboys. Used to be America's favorite team. Now they Mexico's favorite team. <laughs> they got to come to Tampa. Yeah, they do. Yeah, we they get do. the Q, we get to drop the banner. Yeah, the banner drop the, we so, get to watch so we, so we get to show America's team what it really looks like. Yeah, the Super Bowl. Be, yeah oh, okay, buddy. Okay. Yeah, okay. buddy. Hey, and for all of you guys that uh, want to talk noise and say that I'm talking stuff because my team's just now winning talk or whatever. If your team has not won in talk this to millennium, talk to him, Mike. don't say nothing to me about football. Mm -hmm. Not a single word. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Now, if your team has won in this millennium, you can talk and we can debate and we can argue. But if your team ain't won, I, I, I'll pause. put it to you like this, all right? Don't say nothing to if me. If the last time your team won, you was just learning about math and shit? Yeah. We ain't got nothing to talk about. Yeah. We, we ain't got nothing to talk about. If you was just doing your ABCs and one, two, threes, the last time your squad you remember was how they, You remember how your teacher used to give you a piece of paper and you got to flip it up and hurry up and do the multiplication yep, real quick yep, and yep. you can get some ice cream yep. or something? <laughs> and that's what they was doing last time they teams won. Hey, right, man, listen. I bandwagon, so my team's won a lot, man. But <laughs> <laughs> I keep it real, man. I'm ready for this one, though. This is going to be one of my favorite ones when we run it back. Man. Run, run it, back. it back. Run it back. Go on, talk yeah, to Yeah, well. Mike. Uh, I can tell you right now. Okay. I definitely got Tampa winning tonight. I don't even know why we discussing this game. The only reason we discussing is because it's our boys. Nah, I mean, and I mean, it's the first. It's the first, first game, game of the NFL season, got so the we whole got night to we got to talk about it. But uh, to ourselves. Give me give me a number. Throw a number out there. What, what do you think? What do you oh, think man. The, uh, the score gonna be? <laughs> you know, when we, we was discussing this in the production meeting, I was like, you know what? My heart said thirty eight ten. <laughs> <laughs> My heart said 3810 to be quite honest, but I was like, you know what? Now nah, let, let me scale it back. Let me let me scale it back a little bit. So I'm gonna go 2810. 2810 Buccaneers. I honestly think the game is gonna get out of hand early. Tampa Bay's gonna coast late. Dallas is gonna get a late field goal, late touchdown, third fourth quarter when it's not even really gonna matter. 2810. What you think? Honestly, I think it's gonna be 2821. What? 28 to 21? Got yeah. a little bit closer. I, I think uh I think that gonna do his thing. He gonna put some points up. But I'm hoping that Brady puts up more just because like that's my starting fantasy quarterback. Okay. So, okay. You know what I'm saying? I need Brady to do a little work for me, man. I, I don't but before you go, I this is why I said twenty eight to ten because they missing Zach Martin on that offensive line. And for everybody who watched the Super Bowl game with Patrick Mahomes running around everywhere all crazy trying to avoid the rush. That's what you about to see tonight with, with Dak Prescott. And they're going to test that at that ankle to see if it's fully healthy. So, without and, Zach Martin. And his, and his shoulder. And his, I forget, and his shoulder. So and his shoulder. I just don't think Dallas, well, more so Dak Prescott, is going to have enough to, to put up a lot of points, especially with them missing Zach Martin. But proceed. All right, for me, before Zach Martin got hurt, or oh, I mean got He's the COVID, COVID yeah. and was out, uh, I actually had the score 35 to 24. Okay. But with him being out and the pass rush that we I'm have, trying to, I'm trying to tell you, you about to go stupid, ain't you? I'm no, 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 I'm not. I'm not gonna go stupid. I'm, okay. I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna say 35-16. Okay. I still think we put up big numbers. Dallas's defense is unproven. They were, Horrible. they were one of the worst last year. Just I know totally. they, they picked up some pieces. Ain't enough. They, they did pick up some pieces, but. I don't think it's enough to handle the kind of offense we have. It's a, it's a rate. year, it's a year under the belt. You know, last year with COVID, they they didn't really get to have uh, 
off season. Like right. they they really wasn't practicing together like that. Now with a full year under their belt of playing mm-hmm. with each other, getting mm-hmm. to know each other, Talk to them. Uh, you know, having these preseason games or uh, you know the camps before. And we got and all twenty two back. And people heard. Yeah, we got everybody. And we got back. all twenty two back. And I don't know if you guys heard, but they said that I've been reading Brady and Antonio Brown right now this year during practices and everything are on the same page. They like the people were saying that the way they've looked lately is A B could end up being like that number one guy go to guy on the team. Music music to my ears. Yeah, I, I love it man. But Dak we're gonna have Dak Prescott running. He's he's gonna be running for dear life, man, with with Zach Martin now, these are the best offensive linemen, man. Yeah. And you know, you got you got Sue that's gonna be trying to get him. You got you, you got Vita Vale that's so gonna be trying to get him. You got get him. four or five. This uh, is, you had a top five defense last year and the number one against the rush. Good luck, Zeke. Yeah. Um, oh, Zeke, Zeke definitely ain't doing but that. Zeke with is him. skinny this year. He, no he ain't do, man. Nobody runs That's the ball. Fine. I think That's la- easier to tackle. La- <laughs> la- <laughs> last year, I think we had one person get a hundred yards on us. Yeah, so and that was it. Um, Other than that, you're not getting. You're not going to have a hundred yard rusher on us. I, I say we get to Dak. We sack him three times, but because he's a, evasive and elusive, I, I don't think we'll sack him that much. But we'll put a lot of pressure on him though all yeah. night long. Knock him down a lot. Yeah, we'll, we'll I, get nah, to him a lot. I, I think. I agree. I think about three times, but I think with the pressure and him having to get rid of the ball fast or something, I think we get a couple of picks. Mm. Mm. Pick six? You get a pick six? I, I I don't know about a pick pick six, but it's if we get an interception, it's like getting a pick six because Brady's gonna get us in the end zone. CD CD go uh, get over hundred yards. I'm not worried CD. about Mark Cooper. I ain't, I ain't worried about him. He <laughs> well, on I'm the gonna road, he's I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to say it all depends on how they line up. Okay. So, hmm. it, it, it's really – it's to me, it's, it just depends on how they line up. I, I like CD. I think though. one. I, like I, I do. I like CD. I think one of them will have a decent game. I don't know which I don't one think it both. will be. I don't think both. But both – I don't think both will. Uh, like we said, Zeke. I'm not worried about you. So y'all think go, might y'all as well think, go sit on the sideline with your little half belly yeah, shirt. And, yeah. I'm, I'm what's that gonna do, man? Is he is he gonna be under three hundred yards? Under three hundred? I I say he's under three. I say he's under three. Uh, and like I said, I think it throws a couple picks. I say he's over because they're gonna be behind, so he's gonna have to throw the ball forty to forty five times. And if you throw the ball that much and you're an elite quarterback, you you better have over three hundred yards. So I'm gonna say he will have have over like three hundred. How many Manning used to do? How many times do you think he throws? Forty to forty five. Forty or forty five. <laughs> forty. 40 you throw the ball forty or forty four. Forty or forty five times on us, man. You're gonna lose because I, I you're gonna I, lose I just bad. See Tampa Bay just you know getting an early lead that's gonna force them to have to throw the ball and not give the ball to Zach anymore and. And plus, Dak is making seventy five million this year. I need to show. I need you to show what I'm paying for. So I can't have you out there just showing, you know, throwing twenty five to thirty passes, and I'm paying you seventy five mil this year alone. Nah, bro, air that thing out. Hey man, air it out. They paid that man for nothing. Air it out. But that's Ralph's guy. Yeah, that, I did not. That's Ralph's guy. <laughs> that's Ralph's guy. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why either. But you know. boy, and I can tell you this, boy. You know, we forgot to say this at the beginning of the show. You know. Our boy Jones couldn't come today. Yeah. Uh, he had some things he had to do, take care of, some important stuff. But, man, I wish he was here. Lord he always me. misses when we talking about the NFL. It's because he don't know what he's talking about. He, he knows that I was going to go in on him and I was going to give That's him the business. That's what it was. Ah oh, man, I wish he was here. But we got we got some good games this week, fellas. No, we do, we do. Who else we got we, some who good else we got on slate? What, now, what I don't, I don't think, I don't personally think this one's a good game. Mm-hmm. But when you look at the rankings and all of that, I guess it's considered a good game. Right. But we have the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Buffalo Bills. Oh, let me let me get Buffalo in this matchup. 
I'm, 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 I like Buffalo in this matchup. Uh, still is their loss, Bud Dupree, which is a big, uh, big loss for them. Defensively, they still got Watt, so I think he'll be able to wreak havoc. But I just don't see the Pittsburgh offense putting up that many points. They they brought back Juju, but I mean Juju had a horrible year last year. They got they drafted a homeboy out of Alabama, Najee, Najee Harris. Harris, Najee Harris to help out Big Ben. I just don't. And Big Ben is what seventy nine years old. He, he plays like he's about seventy nine years old. He can't move no more. His elbows messed up. So man, let me let me in this one. Let me get Buffalo twenty one seven. Twenty one seven. Twenty one seven. Twenty one seven. What about you? Man, I don't know, man. I feel like Buffalo gonna go crazy on them, man. I might, I might see Buffalo doing like thirty five, <laughs> man. I like Buffalo, man. I, I think Buffalo got a shot to, you know, what I'm saying, to end up in the Super Bowl, mm-hmm. man. I, that's, my, that's my, that's yeah, my Super, Super Bowl pick. Yeah. I, I, I got them coming out of the AFC. I don't want to be too disrespectful, so I, 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 give, I give Pittsburgh. I'm not, I'm not giving them nothing. I give them twenty one. I'm not giving them nothing. Thirty five, twenty one. Pittsburgh horrible. Man, listen. Nothing. I got Buffalo all day. Mm-hmm. Man, you know, when you was talking about Pittsburgh and losing some pieces on the defensive end, mm-hmm. they also lost pieces on the offensive line. Uh, Pouncey retired? Yeah. Yeah, they sent us, so yeah. Uh, and I can't think of the one dude's name. What's his name? Like, uh, Farajal or something crazy. I, I know who you're talking Whatever about. Whatever his yeah, name yeah, is. Yeah. But uh, they, lost, they lost some pieces on the offensive line. I just don't think that they're going to have enough. They don't. Um, I say give me Buffalo 31. Hey, y'all going 30. Yeah, I think Buffalo puts up big numbers, man. Them boys are bad. Yeah, they are. They are bad. And Josh yeah, Allen Josh. is an animal. Yeah, but uh, I say 31, 14. Let me get 28 70. Y'all convince me. Let me let me go. Let me go one more touchdown. Let 20, me get 28 7. Yeah, 28 to 7. Yeah, let All me get right. There. Well, like, you know, to me, that's not a big game because I don't think Pittsburgh's going to be. It's Good not, this year for real, I but don't um, I don't need them. We have also have the Arizona Cardinals and the Tennessee Titans. This, this is a good matchup, right? Here. It is. Man. I, I, I don't, I, I, I'm gonna let Derek go on this one because I'm still undecided on which way I want to go with them. See if y'all can sway me one way or another. All right, this one's kind of tough, man, because I feel like they both capable of probably doing thirty. Mm-hmm. But man, I'm kind of excited to see Tennessee, man. Okay. I feel like. It just kind of depends on how the game goes. If Tennessee just goes heavy on the run, then I'll say 21-7. But if Tennessee goes air and they just get to shooting, <laughs> which is what I think is going to happen, I think Derrick Henry going to still have 150, but I think they're going to still – they're just going to be shooting all game. So, I'm going to go – I'm going to go uh, 31-31. 28. Y'all in these 30s. That's, that's, that's big numbers. I know y'all got these teams putting up big numbers. Um, I'm going to go Tennessee in this matchup uh, just because Arizona improved on the offense side of the ball. Defensively, well, it is yet to be determined. Um, I don't know what – I mean, they added A.J. Green, but, like, how much does he have left in the tank? You know what I'm saying? He's been injured the last couple of seasons. I know they paired up with D-Hop. And, you know, you got, uh, you know, itty-bitty Kyler Murray back there. But I just don't know what, what you're going to get from A.J. Green. And on, on Tennessee side, you got that monster back there. And now you can't load up the box because they got Julio and A.J. Brown out there. So, I mean, it's almost pick your poison. But the question is, does Ryan Tannehill step up and do what he needs to do to make sure this team succeeds as far as, like, not turning the ball over, playing smart football? They're not asking him to be Aaron Rodgers. They're not asking him to be Patrick Mahomes. But can you be better than a game? Can you be Kirk Cousins? And what I mean by that is just be good enough. Don't do nothing silly. Don't do nothing crazy. Just drive the car, bro. That's it. Stay between the lines. Stay in the map, you know, speed limit. So I think he can, though. I, that's why I said I think he can. I mean, Ryan Tannehill, he's like barely above mediocre. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you can win a Super Bowl with Tannehill as far as long as you got other weapons around him. He's not going to lead you to a Super Bowl. But let me get uh, let me get Tennessee in this thing. Oh, Arizona. Let me get 28-14. 28-14 Tennessee Titans. Okay. I'm going to give y'all my take. I got the Titans also. Okay. Um, I think both teams improved on the defensive end. Mm-hmm. Um, which both of them needed to improve a little bit. They are, Both of them were good already – pretty good defensively, but they both improved to where now they 
they can try to stop some of these mm -hmm. uh, heavy loaded offenses. Right. And they both improved on the offensive end. Right. You know, your take on A.J. Green is how much does he have left and yeah. he's been hurt, this, this, and that. But I could say the same thing about Julio. That is true. You know, Julio I just, I gets think hurt. I can give him a light 600 and three touchdowns. And, you know, they and they also – they still got uh, Christian Kirk also. Okay. So, okay. there's somebody else that can catch passes. And I do like Chase Edmonds in the backfield. Uh, Kyler Murray, he – He's a guy that can throw for 300 yards and rush for 100. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm going with the Titans because that man in the backfield, he can control <laughs> the clock. He can. The man's going to run all over him. They're going to have to try to stop him. Good luck. And once they try to stop him, that's how A.J. Brown, Julio really get involved and – I think it's going to be a good game. I think it's, be a I think it's going to be a good game. I think it's going to be a real good one. I got the score of Tennessee 24, Arizona 17. That's right about in line. Yeah. I, I that's that. where I have it. Yeah, I can see that. All right. Well, let's move along. We got the Seattle Seahawks and the Indiana Indianapolis Colts. Oh, Some guys in my Indiana. team last year before I woke up, man. <laughs> Who, the Colts? No, nah, uh, the Seahawks. Seahawks, okay. Um, I'll go ahead and take this one first. Uh, let me get the Seahawks just because Carson Wentz is the Colts quarterback. So, that's all I'm going to say about that one. So, uh, but now, in all seriousness, uh, the Seahawks offensive line, I hope, has improved. Uh, give Russell Wilson a little bit of time. Has DK Metcalf improved more than just a deep threat receiver? You know what I'm saying? Can he run the whole route tree? Because uh, was it last playoffs when Jalen Ramsey just took him completely out of the game and he couldn't do nothing with Jalen Ramsey now? Jalen Ramsey ain't no slouch, but at the same time, what more can you do besides go deep? Like, what I want, I want to see if your game has improved over the summer to where you can do more than just go deep. Um, Seattle's defense, led by Jamal Adams, I want to see how they look. Um, Carson Wentz, I just don't believe in the kid no more. I don't know what's going on with him. He actually got a house here in Lexington. Somebody told me that. I didn't know that. Uh, his that's fiance, what I heard too. Yeah, his fiance, his fiance is from here. Yeah, went to, went to Dunbar, but that's neither here nor there. Um, <laughs> Let me just get the Seahawks in this one. God, I just really don't like Carson Wentz. Um, let me get 17-10 this matchup. 17-10 Seahawks. 17-10? Yeah. I kind of feel the same way, to be honest with you. I just really – and, man, I don't even know what happened to the dude, man. At one point, he looked kind of decent. Man, he just went downhill, man. Who's so, that, Wentz? Yeah. Well, he, he's back with with the um with Frank White, I think that's what his name is, who was the offensive coordinator when he had his MVP type season. So maybe he can resurrect his career, but he just stays too hurt. Too he's always in the news for something that's not positive football related. Yeah, I'm a I'm a I, I think Russell can do 24 on them. I'll go 2014. 2014? 2014. All right. I have the Seahawks also, but <laughs> I have a different take on the game. Okay. Because, you know, like what you were saying about Tannehill, mm -hmm. I think the same thing with Carson Wentz. If Carson Wentz can just be a game manager, he can come in and just not turn the ball over, yeah. not make mistakes. Mm -hmm. You know, they, ha they have a good running game. Right. They have a solid defense. They have a great defense. Yeah. Offensive line is stout. I like some. I like their weapons also. Mm -hmm. So I think that he just has to control the game. Just don't lose the game. Don't lose. Oh, right. Right. But I think it's gonna take them a few weeks to, a couple of weeks to actually get, get going, get into that groove. I think that the Colts are gonna be a good team this year. The Seahawks, I'm not big on the Seahawks this year. I have them winning this game, but I'm not big on them this year. Mm -hmm. um, I just think that offensively they, they could put up some points. I still don't know what their defense is going to be. Yeah. You know, led by my, my cousin, Jamal Adams. Um, yeah. We're, we're going to have to see. I don't know what that defense is going to do. I just don't think the Colts will be able to put up a whole lot of points. Yeah. I think this is going to be a low-scoring game. We're going to have to call Andrew Luck soon. Man. I think it's going to be a low-scoring game. I think um, so, too. I believe it's going to be something like 14 to 10. Yeah. 
I think it's going to be low. I, I don't think nobody gets past 21 in this game. Yeah. If, if, any, if a team scores 21 or over in this game, I'd be surprised. Because the Colts, we got to see what their offense is going to do. Now, if if Wentz comes out and he controls the game well, with that good. running game and Seahawks defense that's not that stout, yeah. they could end up putting some points and could end up winning could. this game. They could. If Carson Wentz goes back to the MVP type of Carson Wentz, I wouldn't be surprised to see the Colts in the AFC Championship, but I wouldn't bet my money on it, though. Right, you, that's right. <laughs> um. Now we have a, a BTG Spoken Minds game of the week. Okay, what we got? What we we got? got the Cleveland Browns mm-hmm. and the Kansas City Chiefs. Okay. This right here is it's a rematch from the divisional playoff game from last year, mm-hmm. which came down to, to me, a, a missed helmet-to-helmet call, which right. changed the game because mm-hmm. Cleveland had Kansas City beat. They had them. So, you know, this is Kansas City. I mean, uh, Cleveland has this in their locker room. They mm. probably showing the the <laughs> video of the game and they're watching it and they seeing how they had them and they was right there to go to the AFC Championship game. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good one. It's going to be a real good one. But, Derek, who you have in this game? Who you got, Derek? Man, listen, a couple of years ago, or was it last year or the year before when I was watching the Hard Knocks, the Browns had me in. Man, I was all in on the Browns, man. Mm-hmm. I said, that's who I'm bandwagoning for this year. <laughs> and then they kind of let me down. So I want to see them, like, elevate. Like, and I think it's their time, man. Like, I, I just want to see them be successful. But uh, I just don't know, man. I think my head is telling me Kansas City 24, Cleveland 21. Okay. 21, 21. Um, I'm picking strictly with my heart on this one. I know better than to do this, but I'm I'm going to put my – now, I got the Browns winning the AFC North, but for this game right here, I got Baker showing up and showing out. I, I believe, like Derek was just talking about, the Browns – finally take that step and show that they can beat a contending Super Bowl team, not just these mid-level teams and and so forth. So, and, you know, the Browns have improved drastically on defense. They signed, um, oh, what's what's homeboy's name? He played for the Seahawks. He played for the Texans. Uh, Jadavian Clowney. Clowney, Yeah, Yeah, Clowney. Yeah, Clowney. So, uh, they've improved on defense. They still have uh, uh, Miles Garrett. Like, they, they have a lot. Like, this team is solid from top to bottom, offensively and defense. But you still got that man, Patrick Mahomes, back there. So, I'm going to pick with my heart, man. I'm going to go Cleveland in this one. If you had to put my feet to the fire, 31-28 Cleveland. 31-28 Cleveland. Okay. That's what I actually hope happens, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to say Kansas City's going to win this game. I actually think that Cleveland's going to win their division. I think they're a great team. I think they're going to go far in the playoffs. But Kansas City coming off a Super Bowl loss, they ready to get back out there. They ready to show that they're one of the best teams in football. I think they pull it out. I think it's going to be a shootout. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. Right, right. I actually have the score being – 35-31. 35-31. I think okay. it's a high. I think it's a high-scoring game. It's going to come down to the end, and I just think Patrick Mahomes pulls this one off. Um, I don't really care for either team, so <laughs> it really doesn't matter to me who wins. But I think Kansas City pulls it off. I, I just think for for the Browns' psyche, they have to win a game like this to show that they belong with the the Bucks. The Packers, the the Kansas City Chiefs, all the, the Super Bowl, they have to win this type of game, or else they're gonna be like, "Well, dang, we gonna never get over the hump. Like, we can't beat these guys for nothing." All right, um, let's get into some entertainment news. What we got for what you got? We got the Kanye and Drake beef that's going on. Man, uh, this stuff right here to me, I tell y'all right now, I think it's all marketing. You know, both of them had an album drop within mm-hmm. days of each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, Kanye came out and uh, last month and leaked Drake's <laughs> address and on the IG and then deleted it and then 
right after Kanye's album dropped, Drake leaked a song of Kanye's with Andre 3000 that yeah. had a diss verse on it. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. That was one of the best uh, songs that Kanye's done in a while, too. Keep it real. I didn't like Kanye's verse on there, but I did like <laughs> I did like Andre 3000. My t- I think both hey, I think both albums were trash. Mm-hmm. I was disappointed in both. Uh, I mean, to me, honestly, I don't think neither one of them had somebody in that corner to tell them knock it off. I think it's all marketing. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, oh, to me, Drake and Kanye don't need this though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like they're at such a level that why we have to beef to sell records or promote our album? Because it just helps. It brings up more talk. And look, both of them had, like, like amazing, uh, amazing numbers. Like, it was, like, yeah. crazy numbers but, that But they you don't did. think they would have done that? Like, Drake is going to get his numbers regardless because of the women. They going to flock to Drake. Kanye, like, he's just... He's done so much crazy ish. People gonna want to see what's on the album, what's he talking, and then he named it after his mom, so people gonna tune in for that. So I just don't think they could, they had to do that to get to you know they was gonna do numbers regardless. Yeah. In my opinion, so the marketing tactic, somebody should man knock it off, bro. Like like you gonna get your numbers, like you gonna sell a million records, Drake, Kanye. You might come in at like five hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand. You gonna do your numbers. So why are we doing this fake beef that really everybody sees through? But go ahead. All right, look, I, I'm, I'm going to change this subject because I want to get, get into some more. It's still entertainment, but this one's kind of sports also. We had Paul Pierce come out and talking bad about LeBron again. And I just don't I, – I personally don't understand why this man hates LeBron so much. <laughs> and, like, like, I'm not a LeBron fan. Me neither. But, like, man, if you talk about this guy – all the time, like, why do you always have to bring this man up? Why do you always have to talk about this guy? Like, to me, it makes no sense. It makes him look soft and weak. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's your take? And I think uh, he just felt like he, like, you know how the whole, like, phraseology now is give them their flowers while they're alive. Right. And I think he just wants some flowers, man. <laughs> Somebody needs to give him a bouquet. So he'll relax. Amen. Until he gets his bouquet, he mad, man, because Amen. he feel like at one point in the time in the league, he was becoming something, man. And I, I think people forget about him. A man that wants flowers is soft and weak. <laughs> <laughs> That's weak. I, I ain't got no take on it, man. I'm, I'm yeah, going to just leave but you know, but, but see, here's the thing. I don't – like, he, he made the comment that, oh, we got to talk about LeBron every day. And this is uh, – topic of discussion that happens in the group all the time. Every day. And I'm cool with that. Every day. Like, if that's what people want to talk about, talk about it. It never to, bothers me. No, it starts to get on my last nerve, man. It like, don't come on, man. All. Let's talk about something else besides See, Brian yeah. James and Michael Jordan. Like, I, I, And I feel that way. I feel like the conversation needs to happen as it's relevant. You see what I'm saying? Like, if something happens, then it the, stirs up that conversation. Yeah. But to have daily, like, LeBron... And before I let you cook, Derek, I feel like this. If you're a Jordan fan, there's nothing I can say to you that's going to change your mind. and be like, you know what? LeBron is the greatest of all time. And if you're a LeBron fan, there's nothing a Jordan fan can say to be like, you know what? Jordan is the greatest of all time. So at this point, it's like, well, what are we debating? Because we're not going to change each other's minds. They're both great. The the debate just kills me. Like, to me, if you say Michael and you say LeBron – I'm not mad at either one of you because I think you can you can make you, a case you can make an argument for both of them. Yeah. Like, I can see where it'd be frustrating to somebody like Paul Pierce to do it, but I understand why ESPN drives that because of course. they turn people that shouldn't even have a voice, in my opinion, into stars. Like Kendrick Perkins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, who really cares what he like says? Kendrick but, but if you talk about LeBron, it, and look, I like Shannon Sharp. I think eventually he would have been successful because I, I just think he's built for it. But, you know, he kind of, like, became a superstar riding that wave, too. Like, mm-hmm. And I don't mind it. Like, you said became a superstar? As, as far as, 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 far as oh, like, okay. I was going yeah. to say, wait, what? Yeah, as far no, as I'm, you had me confused. I'm just talking about, like, I think he's, he's like, at this point, he probably a top five-ish hey, broadcaster, look, right? This but. is football season, man. I, I just wanted to bring that up, but I don't want to talk about basketball <laughs> we, right we, now. We keep on with the All right. Know. This week we got 
the second week of college football kicking off. Right. Um, you know, we're a Kentucky show, so we always gonna talk about the Kentucky Wildcats mm -hmm. and the Louisville Cardinals. As we uh, this week we got Missouri coming to UK. Um, I think it's gonna be a tight game, close game. I do have the Cats winning. I'm not gonna give a score, but I do I do have us winning. But I think it's gonna be real close. Uh, I'm a, I'm right there with you. Um, no, I, I take that back. I think UK wins it big. I think UK by two touchdowns in this oh, game. Oh, okay. I yeah. hope you're right. I, I do. I think because Missouri, uh, well, y'all had what a 300 yard pass and two 100 yard receivers, a hundred yard uh, out the backfield. Missouri, I think they just gave up to like 400 yards to Northern Iowa, something like that. So give me UK by two touchdowns. Um, I think UK. What's the what's the point spread? I have no idea. Uh, U, UK by five. I think UK can cover that for sure. You think they yeah, cover? I don't really know what type of a game it's going to be, but I definitely uh, I feel like UK is about to do make a little noise. Yeah. And they got to start doing it. Because, see, like, what I hate to see happen to us is when we play a good game, I hate for everybody to be like, oh, man, they played the high school team. So, right. you yeah. know, I want to see them make some noise against a solid team. Right. right. We also got EKU coming to Louisville. Uh, I don't even think we need to talk about for it. What? I, I mean, I think I think Louisville's going to bust them up, even though I think Louisville's a trash team. Uh, I think they bust EKU up. Louisville by seven. You got them by seven? That's it. I, I got them by, like, 24. Well, like Chris Jones says, I think they're going to lose by 30. <laughs> 30 you got Louisville losing to EKU? You got Louisville losing. 30 to nine. All right. Uh, I'm going to bring up a couple of other games. Right. We ain't really got to talk about them. Just a couple of couple of big games this week. We got uh, – Oregon at Ohio State. Mm -hmm. uh, Oregon's ranked 12. Ohio State's ranked third in the country. I actually got uh, Ohio State by a couple touchdowns. Same here. Um, I think Ohio State got. Yeah, I got Ohio yeah. State in this match. And then we got number 10 Iowa against number nine Iowa State. Iowa State's the favorite in this game, mm. but Iowa just put a beat down on Indiana, uh, 34 to six. And speaking of Indiana, check this out. What the what? Man, look at this mess. Man, how do you how do you misspell your own name on your jerseys, Bro, I, man? I have no clue. Like, I can see if you was just a small school and it messed up and you don't have a whole lot of money to get it fixed. <laughs> but man, you are Indiana. And your football team is ranked. And you play in a ranked team. Like, how do you come out with? I don't even know what with, that is. What what is that? I think it's Nia that works at Indies. <laughs> so what's, it's Indy is Indy Nia. In, India. Man, India? that is ridiculous, Adina? man. Adina? Like, no wonder you guys got beat thirty-four to six. You you deserved, you deserved it to deserved come it. out looking foolish like you, that. You that is that, man. That's so crazy. Man, I, it, it makes me mad, man. <laughs> but. Kind of wish I had one of them jerseys. Man. I know. Oh, just, 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 Lord, oh, just, don't just do because. it, man. Just, just because. All right, well, we got, Halloween, man. we got our giving back segment, and this week's giving back goes out to Brandy Ashford. Man, Brandy Ashford, she is a college and career coach at Bryan Station. She's mm -hmm. been doing it for three years. What she does is she, like, sets meetings with students and – she like helps them apply for college, uh, scholarships, financial aid. Mm -hmm. She takes students uh, on college trips, mm -hmm. like on visits and stuff. And something that I didn't know, and, but what she does is she starts these kids early, like as freshmen and sophomores, and gets them uh, like into doing volunteer work. Right. So, because when you're applying for college and stuff, those volunteer hours help you when applying for certain things. And, and so she starts them early. But not only does she do this for Bryan Station kids, she has kids all over the city that she does this stuff for. That's dope. Yeah, that like we didn't have this growing At up. All. Yeah. We didn't have I seen my counselor one time me in too. four years of school. Me too. One time. I didn't have a counselor call me down, teach me how to apply for school and do all of that stuff. Like, we didn't get nothing from that. And she also does this stuff on her own time also. 
Like, yeah, because like, like you said with the guidance counselor, not to say the guidance counselors didn't care, they just didn't care this much to where they made sure, let me get these kids into college to let them know that there's a life outside of just going to high school and that's it. Like, mm-hmm. what she's doing, I, I think it needs to be committed. It needs to be put on, on front street for a lot of different reasons because for one, she's getting these kids into college. For two, she's opening up plenty of doors for these kids when they get out of college. And she's giving back to, like you said, not just Bryan Station, but the whole city is yeah. like, man, man, shout out to you, and, Brandy. And she's she's in school right now. Uh, co- she's completing her for her master's of uh, counseling, which is big time. Mm. You know, she's married. She has four kids, four boys. Man. Uh, so, you know, doing all of this for students and then raising your sons and getting them ready and doing all that. And she owns her own business. Man, talk about her it. Her own business is called Focused on Forever Eyewear. They have unique sunglasses and they also have optical frames. Man, they're dope. It's uh, You can find them at www.fofeblinders.com. Check them out. It's dope. But, Brandy, we have a special, special thing for you right now. Check this out. Boo thing. My wife, my lady, just want to say that I love you and I appreciate everything you do for me and the kids. Um, Everything you do for those students at your job, your hard work, your hustle, your grind, uh, you being in school and still having time to take care of home. Uh, We just want to say thank you and we appreciate you and you motivate us to, to do better each and every day. So again, I love you, I appreciate you, and you're, nobody else is more deserving of, of this shine than you. So, your flowers. Hey, that's, that's my cousin right there, Martin Ashford, man. He, good dude, man. And, uh, man, he's all about his wife, man, and his wife is out here doing big things. She's very yes, she deserving is. of this giving yes, back. Yes, she is. We salute you, queen. For real, like, keep doing what you're doing, and... Keep doing what you're doing for these kids. For these like, kids. like these kids need that. Yeah, I got a daughter that's a freshman, man. I might have to holler. Hey, at dead serious. Do that, man, for hey, real. dead serious. For real. Like, we really appreciate what you're doing for these students in our city. Now, we always end the show <laughs> with, a, with random, a good old random rant. Random rant. Q, I'm, I'm gonna let you shoot off your random rant. I'm, I'm gonna take week. my I'm gonna take my glasses off for this one. I'm gonna focus on forever blind. My random rant, and I'm looking dead into the camera because. This is addressed to the Beyond the Game group. This is what I don't understand and what burns, what grinds my gears, as Chris Jones would say. We have a platform where we put out these shows on YouTube, Fire Stick, Roku. If you can't watch shows, you can listen to it on all major podcast streaming platforms. This is what grinds my gears. People can go in the group, take five to ten minutes and post about LeBron, Jordan, Jordan and LeBron, Kobe, whoever you want to post about, but can't take five minutes to share a show. Can't take five minutes to support a show. People will post about LeBron and Kobe and whatever else, and you will see 30,000 comments. We post a clip of the show, nothing. So that's my random rant is, it really, really upsets me because we put a lot of hard work into this, and we're not saying that you gotta watch every show. We ain't saying that you gotta share every single show, but when you see it pop up on your on your timeline, why? how does it hurt you to take two seconds and just hit share because you might not watch it but somebody else on your feed might watch it because once you share it to your feed somebody could be scrolling back what what is this spoken minds boom they tap on it and see oh okay what mm-hmm. is this uh you share the beyond the game show boom what what is this uh the nba weekly recap show so that's my weekly rant man is just that there's no rhyme or reason why you can't support what we're doing because i have made it very easy and accessible for people to either watch the show or listen to the show because it's on Fire Stick, Roku, and YouTube as well. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Please. And make sure you download the show on Fire Stick and, and Roku because when you get home, you're going to get on Amazon Fire Stick or Roku anyways. So why not just go ahead and hit that download button? Subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's it. it take- like, comment, and share. Put my Do something for us. <laughs> hey, but that's the end of our show. We're going to end it with... Go Bucks. Go that's Bucks. The, that's we the only here. team that back to back champs. <laughs> back to back. <laughs> we out of here, Big Four Hundred.